Hello again, Herd. We are the Herdsmen. I am Mark. I'm Grant. And we're back with another fun food review, we hope. We hope you're having a great day. We are having a great day. It is, uh, you, you all know I'm a teacher. It's my summer break. Uh, this this summer I get six days of vacation, so woo. Such a very long <laughs> vacation. I know. So, uh, woo, uh, but we're enjoying this. But we got a chance over the weekend to go to uh, one of our favorite places. Glazed and confused and infused. <laughs> we always mess up. Glazed and infused is a donut shop. It's, it's almost a travesty to call it a donut shop. It is a... It is a bakery. It is... It's a magical... It's good. It's goodness baked into bread. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, they, they are it's just... It's full uh, of sunshine and love. It's rainbows and unicorns, man. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful stuff. Glazed and infused. Uh, just an incredible, incredible I, bakery, donut shop, whatever you call it. Anyway, we're going to look at two of their donuts today, and, and I was so glad to see these two. Um, the first one we're going to do is the PB&J, yeah. <clears throat> which is exactly what it says. It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, it is, it, it, it's that way. And the second one is? Red velvet cake. Red velvet cake. Now, uh, go ahead and start on that one. I want to talk about uh, glaze and fuse a little bit. Excuse me. Um, it's an upscale place. I mean, as far as the, the cost of the donuts, it's a little bit more expensive. These are about um, $2.75 to $3 per donut, okay? But they are worth $2.75 to $3 a donut. It's just unbelievable. All right, so the PB&J. Talk about that while I'm jump diving into it. Oh, my. That's what I like about these donuts. I keep getting older. They're still just as good. They are. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's exactly what you'd think of when having a donut and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I love the crunchiness of the peanut butter at the top. You get a, you get a kind of a glaze from spreading peanut butter over crushed peanuts. Uh, I think it's a strawberry jelly. Yeah, and the strawberry jelly inside, guys, it's jelly. Um, it's not like <clears throat> a lot of donuts you get. It's not jelly food. No, it's not. It, it, that is a jelly. I would spread that on a peanut butter jelly sandwich. That's what that is. It's not the, the, the jelly food that you get in most filled donuts. And i got to say, the bread or breading, whatever they make donuts out of, yeah, I'm not the, sure. The dough of the donut, yeah. Yeah, it's of higher quality. It's like a croissant quality. Yeah, it, it melts in your mouth. Oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, wow, we're just gushing on these. Uh, this is the red velvet cake. Give that a try. I'm not a crazy fan of red velvet. Um, not... I mean, it's not something that, that if I were at a restaurant, I would order. I, it's just not a, uh, it's not one of my go-tos. It's not something that I would say, oh, I got to try their red velvet. Um, you kind of like red velvet, I think, don't you? Yeah, I, um, I only got exposed to it maybe, like, uh, wow, now it's going on some eight years ago, but it feels just like yesterday when I got exposed to it. It's, um, this is really good. Uh, cream cheese, I believe, is what is on top of it, right? It's a cream cheese frosting, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not exactly a fan of cream cheese. It's one of the... It's one of the things I hate whenever I'm having carrot cake at any place. I really hate cream cheese. I'm more of a vanilla guy. But here, it seems natural. Yeah. It fits with the red velvet. <clears throat> it's something I usually hate. Yeah, it, it, it works here. It does. It works so well on this. Uh, and I gotta say, one of the things I love, what, the comment you just made about the dough in the donuts being of a higher quality, this melts in your mouth. I mean, it, it truly melts in your mouth. But what I love is donuts are a sweet treat. They're a sweet morning treat. Sometimes, though, they're too sweet. Yeah, they're too sweet. They're, they're sweet. And they seem artificial sweet. Absolutely. Not like a, not like a natural sweetness that you'd expect after time and care goes into something. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was going to say. I, it, it, they, some donuts are made sweet for the sake of being sweet. These are just perfect. They're not overly sweet. You get the flavor of the red velvet cake. You get the cream cheese frosting. Neither of those 
are overpoweringly, oh my gosh, that is so sweet, it, you know, it, it puts you off. It's just a perfect balance. I, I just, I, I'm not a fan of red velvet, and I love this donut. Yeah, I just, I wonder if there honestly is any place better than this. I, I can't see it existing. No, I, I, I do not think there is a better place than glazed and infused. I, I just don't think you get the quality. I wish and I hope glazed and infused people, folks out there, man, uh, if you could expand. I, I mean, I hate the chain here. Yeah, I'd we hate, hate having to go two <laughs> hours for a donut that's worth it. Oh yeah, and, and we would. We, I mean, we would go two hours. Uh, but uh, you know, I don't want to see you be a chain everywhere, but maybe regionally. You know, maybe maybe regionally here. You know, spread out Indiana, maybe uh, Wisconsin, those, Illinois. Yeah. What is it like? Five states that are around. Yeah. The five Great Lakes. Yeah. Yeah. Just go Ooh, there with that. No big deal. I mean, it's just millions of dollars in, of investment. I mean, you know. Yeah, we'll, having we'll, to have all of those restaurants be used with care, and love, and sunshine, rainbows, <laughs> unicorns. Oh, man. All right, so. All the inhabitants of Narnia, Middle Earth, and, and Justin Bieber. Combined. All right, so here we go. What are we going to. Let's just rate. Let's rate glazed and infused. This uh, is a donut place. I, if we had five cows, I'd be giving it five. Yeah, I, this is this is the one that I have no reservations in giving four absolute cows to. You? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I mean, I, if we had the sound effect, I think I would have the. Oh yeah, it, yeah it's, it's that it's, good. It's glorious. It really is. Four cows for me. Definitely, no question about it. Anyway, that is all from us today. We hope you enjoyed our review of Glazed and Infused Donuts Magical Bakery it's in Chicagoland. Uh, definitely in Chicago, actually. Uh, give it a try. Definitely give it a try. Totally, totally worth it. It's worth a two-hour drive. Oh, yes. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, please subscribe to us. Let people know that you're watching us. Tell people about the Herdsman uh, and become part of the Herd. We always love that. And as always, don't, don't be, be afraid. afraid. To, to join, join the herd. herd. Yeah, herd. herd.